Is this name supposed to be that name? Around the way? Hey everybody, welcome to uh, Brett Davis and Lee's on IQ Podcast in beautiful Coronado at Attorney King Studios. My guest today is Brett Wilsey. How are you doing? Very good. Thanks for having me. Very interesting times. Uh, very interesting times. Uh, a lot of strange things going on, and, and actually, we look at them as opportunities. A lot of people are not looking as opportunities, but it's how you look at things. I, I agree. I think uh, there's a lot of good deals out there right now, and probably going to be some better ones coming. You're the expert. I don't know about, yeah, I don't know about better, because actually, we hit a low probably, uh, I'm going to say, two, three weeks ago, and I cannot believe some of the prices of some of the companies, I'm talking about public companies, that they were trading at. It was just unbelievable what they were trading at. We have recovered somewhat since that time frame. And what people have to look at is not where they'll be tomorrow, next week, but now say, gosh, I'm buying this business today at, at 20. If a year from now or two years from now, it's at uh, 30. I mean, that's a what? A, a 50% gain. You should be very happy with a 50% gain over one or two years. So based on everything that's going on in the world, it seemed like uh, there's going to be some changes probably after this whole thing comes, comes down a little bit, I would think. What would those changes be, you think? Well, I was going to, I was going to ask you, what, what are you thinking? What changes are we, uh, is on your mind there? Well, I think we're going to be using more video com. Mm -hmm. I see that happening. Uh, that's not a bad thing, by the way. No, it's not a bad thing. Uh, you know, actually, that's how we're doing a lot of our meetings now and signing up new investors is, is through uh, Zoom. Uh, and, it, and it does work, but I got to say, it's not as good as having the actual in interaction and be able to, and I, I got to tell you, Brett, I hate not shaking hands. I, I, I miss just that. Isn't moment. that weird? I, I, like I used to like to shake ha hands also. It does feel very odd, doesn't it? It really does, and, and I think we will come back to that someday, but I, I, I think it's, I'm not going to predict when it's going to come back, but it's just, it was just a normal thing you do, kind of like, kind of like putting on your shoes, you know, you, you put your shoes on, you, you shake somebody's hand when you see them. Now it's just like, oh, no, I'm going to back off, but I, I, I miss stuff like that, uh, but I just like looking somebody in the eye, and, and even though we're kind of doing that now, it's sure. still not the same to me. Yeah. Right. Well, I, I agree. Uh, I'm, I'm just, you and I are the same that way. I like looking somebody in the eye. I like shaking hands. So for somebody that's uh, starting uh, out there right now, what would you advise uh, for them to, to do? I mean, other than to come to see you, of course, which is very good, by the way. Yeah. You mean starting out investing wise, you mean? Yeah. 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 You know, it's funny. And I, and I, I just started talking about this and I'll be doing a segment on, on TV here as well. One thing that people don't get when it comes to investing is, is they're saying, well, this company, I'm going to mention the company name, what I'm looking at is Amazon. Well, Amazon didn't go down very much, so I feel very safe buying that company now. That is not what you want to do because Amazon is not going to do that great going forward. And I say that because you're doing very good now. A lot of social, not all social media, but a lot of people buying online and, and so forth. So they're doing very well now. But what about when things are back to normal? they may not have a big increase. But if you take some of the good quality retailers that have been just beaten up, I mean, some are down 50, 60%. I mean, it's just unbelievable what they're trading at. You find the ones with the strong balance sheets that will recover, that have a good product. You could have a 40, 50, maybe a 60% gain on that company because you're buying it at such a good price. But you got to make sure you're buying quality. And this is going to be hard for a lot of people that are, uh, not investors, so to speak. They're not used to it. They need to find a professional that understands value and how to invest in good quality businesses that will return. So uh, we'll talk about travel because a lot of people I understand are looking for good deals even right now as they're, they're at their, in their homes. What's your take? Uh, I understand Warren Buffett sold some of his shares of his airlines. Did he have airlines that he, that he was invested in? He, he did have airlines. And the reason why he sold those was because he became too big of a holder of those positions. I mean, I, I forget the numbers, but I think with the, the, the downturn, he ended up having, I think like 15, 16% of some of the airlines. I think that may have been Southwest. I, I, I remember reading, I don't remember the exact names, but he didn't want to be that much of a holder of that one company. So he did pair it back a little bit. And it was not because he has fear. He just did not want to hold that much of any one company. So uh, with that being said, uh, there's two, there's differences, of course, with, um, you know, like cruises and the airlines, of course, it seems to me like, uh, I think it was, was a carnival that had these amazing deals going on in the last month or so, and they were able to raise $40 million in revenue. Was it carnival? 
I didn't hear the number on that, uh, so maybe it wasn't Carnival. I mean, Carnival actually did have uh, a different situation to where actually they, they wanted to raise their cash. So they did an offering of debt and they wanted to raise about $3 billion in the debt to put on their balance sheet to handle through the tough times. Well, it's what we call oversubscribed to when they put that offer out, $17 billion was saying, hey, we'll buy your debt. So that was huge for Carnival Cruise Line. I also know Carnival Cruise Lines, they did actually have uh, about 39,000 people signed up for future cruises while they're in this down period. And Carnival Cruise Lines also did offer saying, we'll refund your money if you're not taking the cruise. About 48% of the people that they offered that to said, no, we'll, we'll just you know redo it for another time. We don't want our money back. We do want a cruise. So uh, there's about three major cruise lines and Carnival is one of them. So, I mean, it sounds to me like the cruise lines are doing, I mean, even though we're talking different you know, apples and oranges between the airlines and, and uh, cruises, I think it's interesting the way they were able to seem to get ahead on this situation. Yeah, and, and they really stepped in and said, okay, because we know that people are not going to stop flying. Um, I'm saying some people say, oh, I don't think people will cruise anymore. I, I, if you've never cruised before, I can maybe understand that. If you've been on a cruise, it, it is the, the best thing. I mean, they, they take such good care of you. And, and when you go to a hotel and you, you want to travel, you got to pack up your suitcase, bring it together, check out and so forth. Cruise line, what happens? The cruise line, the whole ship or the whole room that you have moves to the next city and then you don't have to unpack. I mean, so your, 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 your hotel room, so to speak, is moving with you. It is such a nice event and they're not really that expensive compared to going to expensive hotels and everything else. So it is a great industry. And you save money on drinks and food. Yeah, that's right. You get all the food you want. You get all the drinks you want. And it's just, it's just a phenomenal experience. Uh, one problem I do have is I do get a little seasick. So <laughs> that's a problem I have. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but there's ways around that, right? I mean, uh, you'll find a way. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and again, it's, it's definitely worth it. Although I'm getting a little bit seasick now just thinking about it. So I got to be careful. <laughs> So, and I just touched my nose. I, I'm so paranoid. I touched something. I'm like, am I supposed to touch things? And so, uh, <laughs> so uh, w w what do you think are the best, maybe the top 10 buys right now for the week? What would you think of? I mean, what comes to mind? Um, the top 10 would be kind of difficult to do. And I don't have them off the top of my head, uh, actual individual companies. But, but I will say, look at the travel industry because the travel industry is beaten up tremendously. I do believe it'll come back. And when you're looking at things to invest in, make sure that they're not over leveraged with a lot of debt. Make sure it's a popular company that people want to go to. We mentioned Carnival Cruise Lines. I mean, you've got to go with the good quality. And same thing with the airlines. Don't buy some off name airline. But be, and I will point out one thing. I'm very concerned on American Airlines because their balance sheet, I don't know the exact number. I know they have a lot of debt. And that's when you want to be careful. And I, I do believe this will turn around fairly soon, but it's not going to be next week. So you got to make sure the business can make it through. And even when it does turn around and people start flying and cruising, they're not going to charge high fees. Actually, my son, Chase, he just booked, uh, I think it's from, from May 15th, uh, a round trip ticket to Colorado uh, for himself. And the round trip ticket was about $50. Wow. So yeah, they're not making money off that yet, but what they're going to do, they're going to have more people fly you know, and going places. And it's like, Hey, you know, I went to Colorado. I went to here, I went to there and, and everything was fine. You'll start seeing people come back. I think rather quickly once people start saying, yeah, I only paid $50 and somebody else paid a hundred, 200 before, you know, we're back to almost normal prices and the airlines and the cruise lines will make money. So I kind of gave a long answer just for one industry. No, uh, great. <laughs> I love, I love, I always love hearing you uh, talk about, uh, you're phenomenal what you do and, and, and you're passionate and it comes across. And every time I talk to you, I feel like I, I get a, a nugget of some type, you know. Well, good, good. And I, and I just love buying businesses. And, and that's what we do. We buy small pieces of large businesses. Uh, the other one that I, that I like right now is, is the um, uh, retailers because a lot of retailers are shut down. Now, we know that they're not all going to be shut down forever. So you got to find that retailer that has a special niche that will be open that you don't overpay for um, because I think there's going to be some, and I'll mention J.C. Penney. I don't think J.C. Penney. I mean, they, they've been uh, treading water for a long time, trying to keep going. This could be the straw that breaks the camel's back. So I would not be investing in J.P. J.C. Penney. I, I don't even know what the stock trades at. Maybe it's ten cents. I don't know. Don't don't think that's a great deal because I think they are going to go under. But there's other good retailers that don't have a lot of debt that that may do very well. And 
you could pick up a very handsome dividend. Now, some of them will be suspending the dividend now, but they'll bring that dividend back and you're getting a four, five, six, maybe, maybe an 8% yield that you kind of locked in. And don't think again, next week or even next month, think, well, you'll be six, 12, 18 months from now, what a great investment you'll have. What retailer do you like? Um, I, I, I try not to give what we hold in the portfolio. Um, so I, I won't give the name out because we do, a, you know, that's for our clients who are our okay. our clients. Um, I'm, I'm trying to think of, uh, see, and one, people are going to think Walmart. They're going to think Walmart, like, wow, Walmart is great. They've done well through this. This is what I'm talking about. Walmart is a great business. They've done very well through this, but there's going to be no gain. I mean, they may go up maybe five, 10%. Uh, they haven't come down. So don't invest in Walmart. Find a retailer that you know that looks pretty good. And again, somebody has to know how to read financial statements to make sure you're not buying, you know, a, a what I call value trap. Yeah, buying the hype or buying something wrong there. So I, I, I don't like to give out names what we hold on air because it's, it's what our clients kind of pay for. So, but there, there's some good retailers out there. But here's a good thing too. So uh, if people would love to get a hold of you, uh, what's a good website with some good information they can contact you at? Because I, again, I think you're one of the best at what you do. Well, oh, thank you. Yeah. So, I, I mean, they can go to our website, which is smartinvesting2000.com. Again, that's smartinvesting2000.com. And also too, on that website, there's information about our radio show, uh, we have a webinar coming up. I believe it's April 16th where they can actually learn all of what we do and how we manage our money. Uh, we do a radio show in San Diego. So there's a lot of different things we do to try to help educate people on what we're doing. So yeah, I mean, go to our website, smartinvesting2000.com. And if they do want to you know, contact us personally about managing their money for them, please uh, contact us. We'd love to have a conversation with you. Okay. So here's the going back. I appreciate uh, your information always. Uh, I like I like the dollar uh, Dollar Tree. Is that mm -hmm. on the stock exchange? Uh, I believe Dollar Tree is. I know that some of the discount retailers are uh, on on exchange. I think it's Dollar Tree is one. There's another one which I, I slips my mind. We actually looked at them before, uh, and they were kind of pricey. Okay, they could be a good buy now. So it would be worth taking a look uh, to look into one of the like a Dollar Tree or. Gosh, what is the other name? There's another discount like Dollar Tree. 99 cent uh, store? Yeah, I think it's 99 cent store. So, so look at those because I believe they have come down. But again, make sure you're not overpaying for it. I'm talking about overpaying for it. I'm talking about be careful what you pay for the earnings, the cash flow, the book value, um, the sales of that company. Make sure you, you're getting a reasonable price for it because if it's too expensive, again, like Walmart is too expensive, you're not going to have the potential for any good gain going forward. You're, you're already bought at the top. Be patient. Try to find a company that's on sale. Just like when you go buy a car, we want to buy the car on sale, not pay the top dollar. Right. Same thing when you're buying equities, make sure you're getting it on sale, not being the guy paying the top dollar for it. It's always about, I mean, a lot of people panic during these times too, right? I mean, it's, I mean, it's probably better to buy more, more stock, I would think, rather than panic and jump, jump ship. Oh, you're exactly right, Brett, because what people do is their emotions take over and there's one thing that they say, and I've been doing this for 40 years, there's one thing they say that they say each and every time, Brent, it's different this time. And my response is, yes, it's different, but it's always the same. Because when we went through the banking crisis back in the 90s, where you may remember the Resolution Trust Company came in and was closing down banks. Oh my gosh, this is terrible. This is, and it's different this time. They said that during 9-11. Brent, this never happened before. It's different this time. They said that during the Great Recession. It's different this time. And here we are again with the coronavirus. It's different this time. And yes, it's different. But it's always the same to where we will figure this out. We'll get through it. And as long as you're investing in good quality businesses that can weather the storm, you're going to make some very good money during times like this. I agree. Uh, so the thing, the thing I think is also it's important is how um, – you know, we're doing more things and we talked about how things have changed a little bit. Mm -hmm. People seem like they're using uh, more ordering from restaurants. They're picking their food up or having it delivered. Mm -hmm. A lot of restaurants are not going to survive this, are they? They're really not because, and I, I've been trying to figure out, and I do believe May 1st, we're going to start opening up some of the country, some businesses and so forth. That's when I think we're going to start seeing some things start to go back to normal, if there is such a thing. 
Um, but there's gonna be some restaurants that they just can't survive because I don't know how we're going to have restaurants